Did you see the otter? It's right down here. Cat, come quickly. It was just in the water here. It just hopped out of the water. There it is, right on the rock. What? We're at this dual waterfall, the name of which I did not practice before the video. So I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. But we have it all to ourselves. It's just me and Kat. The only people here. Jarlo Bus. This waterfall was on Game of Thrones, so I found out about it. I don't know exactly what. I'm sure somebody will comment and tell me where it is. Did you see the otter? It's right down here. Cat, come quickly. It was just in the water here. It just hopped out of the water. There it is, right on the rock. What? One, day four. Success. Success. We were like the only people here. On the next place. Just a quick jaunt down the road. We're stopping at this old Viking farmhouse called Strown. So it doesn't look like this place is open until June 1st. So we'll be able to go in. We can still walk around. did that wrong. I went inside of the building, ordered things, and I probably should have paid to do that. This is an awkward experience. I don't really know what happened. They're pretty, but I don't think we were quite really welcome. <laughs> Whoops, Taurus fan. Now, we're at the other Strown, coming across this river here. Really don't know what to expect from this place. That was a crazy dirt road we just went down. We saw a guy that definitely didn't make it up a hill. Not very well marked. Don't exactly know what we're getting ourselves into. There's an old Viking settlement. It was excavated in the 1950s, and in the 80s and 90s it was excavated and evaluated further, and they put a built-in protective structure over the longhouse. So that's what we're gonna try to walk to now. How is this a real place? I don't know. This very tiny little bridge right here. It's a little crooked, not quite entirely certain it's stable. It did support Katrina's weight. Let's see if it can support mine. If this is my last words, it really won't be my last words. It'll just be my last dry words. We should go right down here. session now for health folks. So excited. This is crazy desert landscape all around us. And yeah. then there was Gijon. So I feel green. like the words amazing and spectacular and magical, like I just keep using them and they don't even describe how beautiful and amazing all the things are. I had a very like desert oasis sort of feeling. So I'm gonna turn the truck back on. It's a little noisy because it's a diesel. We have arrived at Health Foss. The road to Gijon was significantly worse than this one, and this was the road that they warned me about. Well, we made it, one piece. The truck seems to be also in one piece. Let's go look at how fast. 
can't see all of it yet. But it's enough. Even more amazing part, there's another giant waterfall over here. Flopped by Katrina's head. It's not flopped by Katrina's head anymore. Good job. Face over there. Face over there. Yeah, so we decided to really embrace our sort of extra day and be relaxed. So we went to the Secret Lagoon. Pretty straightforward. Hot spring. Bit of a weird thing for us in our Americanness. <laughs> yes, you are expected to get fully naked and shower in a room with everybody else that's showering, gender separated, but otherwise, to make sure you clean everything properly before you get into the hot spring. They even have very helpful signs mm -hmm. telling you where to wash. And there was a fish and chips shop right outside, so we decided to splurge a little and split a fish and chips for dinner. So good. So good. But a local showed up and ordered fish and chips while we were sitting there, so I felt like that was a very good sign. Although I speak no Icelandic, they recognize it being spoken much better now. <laughs> Chelsea greeted him with good and diet. Oh boy. I think it's actually good morning, but they say it all day. Now we're gonna head home for an early day. Tomorrow we are going to South Coast day four. Almost done. A little more relaxing, less strenuous than our up and over thing. Mountain hike up and over a thing. Never trust somebody who says up and over a thing. I'm still recovering from up over a thing. <laughs> 